Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Ashlyn, and we're going to show you how to make soda pop top bracelets today. To start off, here's a visual of what the finished product will look like. Tools. You will need about two feet of ribbon. You can get many different types of ribbon from Michaels for about three to four dollars. You will also need 17 soda pop tops. During the making of our bracelets, you will need to know the difference between the smooth side and the rough side. You can get your soda pop tops from any soda can. The best way to take off the tops without any sharp edges is to wiggle them back and forth until they just pop off. If you do end up with sharp edges, have an adult smash them down with pliers. Ready? Let's begin! Step 1. Pick up one soda pop top and your thicker piece of ribbon. Slide the ribbon through the bigger gap in the soda pop top with the smooth side facing out. Step 2. Pick up another soda pop top and repeat the same action, but this time with the rough side of the soda pop top facing out. Repeat step 1 and 2 until all 17 of your soda pop tops are on the ribbon. Okay, now that we have all our soda pop tops, we will need to tie a loose knot with both ribbons to keep our soda pop tops in place. Step 5. Then take the shorter end of the ribbon and slip it in between your two fingers. Step 6. Lightly pull. Okay, step 7 is going to get a little more complicated, so listen closely and follow the steps on the screen. First you are going to slide two soda pop tops so they are right next to your knot. Notice right here that the second pop top is wanting to lay behind the first one. This is exactly how you want it. If it is not like this, you probably did not alternate sides correctly when you are putting your soda pop tops on your ribbon. So once you have your two soda pop tops, you are going to take your other ribbon and string it through the gap farthest to the left. This will be one of the few times you are going to weave it through only one soda pop top. Make sure there are no kinks in it before you progress to the next one. Then with the same ribbon, you are going to string it back through, but this time you are going to go through both soda pop tops. This is what your bracelet should look like so far. Now you are going to bring up another soda pop top and again with the same ribbon you are going to string it back down through the bottle tops making sure you get it through both of them. Now you are going to bring up another soda pop top and again with the same ribbon you are going to string it back down through those soda pop tops making sure you get it through both of them. You are going to keep repeating these steps until you reach your last soda pop top. Okay, to finish off your bracelet, you're going to string the ribbon back through the last gap. This is the only other time you should have strung the ribbon through only one soda pop top. Now you can untie the knot if you would like, and we're done! This is one of those projects that looks a little complex at first, but after you do it once, you'll be a pro at it in no time. If you get a little lost, just go back and watch the video again. We promise, you'll get it. Pop top and repeat. Pick up another soda pop. <laughs> now that we have our... <laughs> those tips of the ribbon. The... <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up. <laughs>